hundred K, a hundred kilometers, a hundred cornflakes. Uh, this is actually so cool. Thanks so much, everyone. It's quite difficult to be genuinely grateful on camera, but I promise I am. I'm very, very grateful. So, despite being a bit of a broken man at the end of it, when I look back on this year of YouTube as a whole, uh, it makes me realise how kind everyone has been to me. Usually for a year-ending video, I just throw some music over the top of clips of all the videos I've made that year, but I didn't think that was really enough to get across how thankful I am. So instead, I thought I'd do this sort of like update style video uh, and just recap on all the things that have happened this year. So let's go. That's right guys, I'm stood up now. Um, <laughs> so we started off this year in January because it's the first month. On the 14th of January, I hit 15K subscribers, which if I'm honest, is way more than I ever thought I deserved or would get. But after a few sport videos that I posted the previous year just randomly started picking up views, I decided to make a few more. And by the time I'd posted a video about pears, which in all honesty, at the time I was thinking, this video is pretty rubbish, it's pretty dumb. Everything just went a bit mental and by March I had reached 30k. Then with the help of a video about a particular long boy, by April we were at 40k, then 50k and then 60k within the same month. And it was June the 9th of 2021 that we reached the ultimate promised land. 69k subscribers. <laughs> Now up to this point, some of you might remember I'd been at university, which meant I was really only able to post a video every two to three weeks, and it was just a lot of extra stress on top of everything else. I think some people have more of a capacity to post YouTube videos while they're at school or while they're working or while they're at college, uh, but for me, my tolerance is clearly very low, and I just couldn't do it, I just couldn't cope. Don't get me wrong, I still made some videos that I'm pretty happy with throughout that period. There was Schmablo Picasso and his Sims cooking competition. Uh, there was me and my friend Tom pretending to be the world's biggest Harry Potter fans. 18 inches, forged by Ogre Breath, core of unicorn testicle. <laughs> I made some songs on Garage Band out of Minecraft sound effects, and I made quite a lot of progress on my animated film as well, which was good. But the truth is, I was feeling super low, and in terms of YouTube, uh, I was getting really frustrated because I wasn't able to post anywhere near the amount that I wanted to be, and I was kind of having to set aside the thing that I really love doing. Um, for things like stinky, work. Imagine having to do work, am I right guys? No, I realise I am just complaining, um, but towards the end of the university year, I kind of realised that, that YouTube was the thing that I wanted to prioritise, because making videos has always been something that's really important to me and I've always really enjoyed it, so uh, eventually that led to the decision to take a year out of university, which I realise um, I'm in a, an incredibly privileged position to be able to do that. I'm super lucky, but once I'd kind of changed my mindset, uh, you could argue I kind of stopped trying at university, but I ended up making uh, one of my favourite video series I've, I've ever made, and that's the Wii Sports Baseball World Cup. In reality, there were plenty of times where I caught myself wiggling about me's on Photoshop in time with my stupid voice acting, and I did often think, what am I doing with my life at this point? But as unprofessional and shoddy as it turned out, I'm pretty happy with it, I think. And definitely one of the highlight moments of my channel for the whole year, for me at least, was uh, premiering the kind of movie cut along with everyone else. Watching it in a kind of live stream, it was just really nice to see everyone reacting in real time to all of the different moments throughout the series. I think we actually had like 150 people watching or something at, at some point, which was way, way, way more than I was ever expecting. I was expecting like two people to watch it along with me. And yeah, that was just very wholesome and, and really nice. So by July, even though the channel had reached 75k, I still thought there's literally no way that I'm ever reaching 100k by the end of the year. But here we are, guys. We did it, gamers. Woo! I think everyone on YouTube likes to pretend a little bit that numbers don't mean anything to them. And there's definitely more important things, but as superficial as it is, getting a subscriber plaque has kind of been my goal on YouTube ever since I first created my awful channel back when I was 13. I think I've had like seven YouTube channels throughout the years. And so in a way, to me at least, it is kind of a special thing. 
Something that's not quite as superficial though that's happened this year, and I hate to use this term, but it's the community that we've built together. <laughs> Whether it be playing on the Minecraft server with people, or people sending in their own artwork, or people helping me raise money for charity, even stuff like people participating in the Bog Boy quiz, or just things as simple as listening to my rubbish songs on Spotify. It definitely feels like the people who are watching this channel are genuinely seem to be nice people. And one of the great things is there's so many people from so many different places as well. I looked at my Spotify analytics this morning and one of the cities in the whole world that I'm most listened to in is Libreville in Gabon, which I just think is very epic. It's actually sick, so uh, if you're watching this from Gabon, this is a shout out to you. No, I just find it cool whenever I've talked to someone from a completely different part of the world to me. Maybe post down in the comments where you're from. That might be interesting. I know that for some reason on my YouTube channel this year, Estonia was particularly high up in the views, so uh, shout out to the one person in Estonia that's like viewed me like 5,000 times or something. Anyway, I'm getting quite off track. The, in summary, thanks so much for watching me in this channel's fourth year on YouTube. The fourth year of Bog Boy's existence. The name Bog Boy is awful, I don't know if you can see that, it might be backwards. When I looked at this subscriber plaque and it said presented to Bog Boy, I remembered how much I regret calling my channel such a w strange name. It has literally Literally nothing to do with any of the content. I don't think I've ever done a vlog in a swamp. I'm pretty sure I've never built like a mangrove in Minecraft, but maybe one day I will visit a swamp for a video. Anyway, I hope you continue to watch me in 2022. <laughs> please, please don't leave me, please. No, I'll try to keep making these rubbish videos and I suppose that's all for now. Have a great new year and I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, bye bye.